my dad had been having some medical problems and had just been discharged from the hospital again and came home to my house. I heard uh, my mother-in-law Retta yelling, and Daniel, help, Daniel, help. So I come downstairs and uh, she's standing beside my father-in-law my father-in-law's face down on the kitchen table. I decided that we're probably going to have to do CPR, so I had to lay him back and back on, on the on hardwood floors. And I, you know, I did what you're trained to do, look, look for a pulse, try and see if there's breathing or not. When I confirmed that there wasn't one, I called 911, told them where we lived and handed my mother-in-law the phone and started CPR. Started doing rescue breaths and compressions. And fortunately, when they came in, um, you know, they checked him out and they put an AED device on him. It shocked him and he came right back. The heart started just one try. So we were, it's amazing. Once we got to the hospital and things settled down, you know, it was kind of odd. Everyone's con congratulating me on what a good job I did. <laughs> the oh. ER doctor and the cardiologist that came in said that the early intervention saved his life. They determined it was uh, VTAC arrest, so his heart basically started beating so fast it stopped. But yeah, the, all the doctors said the early intervention with the CPR is what saved his life. I had a health class in high school where they taught us CPR, and this was about 25 years ago. So the basics of when it were then, but I wasn't certified. I attended a class a couple years ago uh, through the King's Daughters, the BLS, Basic Life Support, and got certified through that. Because we were um, watching my grandson, and uh, they felt it was important that we be trained to be certified to do that, I was trained. So very glad I did. It sure paid off. I'm so thankful that I knew what to do, you know, and I wouldn't want to be in the position to where I would have to, you know, watch someone having these issues and not be able to do anything about it. So if, you, if it's even crossed your mind to do it, go for it. It's worth it.